All right, so we're going to go over Venom number 11 real quick. Nothing too exciting in this issue other than just some standard plot progression. But there was a big reveal. So if you don't want to know about that, if you want to know if the issue's good, it's it's good. I would check this one out. Uh, there's a big reveal on it. So and I'm going to go into spoilers and stuff. But been a been a crazy day. I got a couple more books. I'm, uh, I finished Jawbreakers. I would probably do that video, I'm thinking Monday. I'll probably throw that one up. I got a lot to do tomorrow that I need to get done, so... I don't want to. I don't want to rush the review. I want to think about it because I want to, you know, make it a good one. Offer some good criticism. Offer some good suggestions, and uh, you know what I liked about it overall. So we're gonna go in there, pretty detailed. As for this book, it's been consistently good. All eleven issues have been pretty solid. The uh, the only thing that I didn't like about this one is so it's been like Venom was moving hot for a minute. They were releasing it like twice a month, it seemed. All these spin-offs. And then like it's been a solid 30 days since anything Venom dropped. It's been a minute. And I'm looking through this book and it's like, well, I'm kind of lost. And I can't remember where I put 10. So I couldn't go back and reference it. But uh it looks like the symbiote might have its personality back. I'm not sure after reading this. I have to say I was kind of confused because, like I said, I need to go back and read 10. And uh, I have so many long boxes <laughs> now. I can't. I didn't want to dig through them. So I don't know. It, to me, it seems like the symbiote is, like, tricking Eddie. It's kind of implied that he's been manipulating Eddie Brock's body to make it look like he needs the symbiote. Like, maybe he didn't have cancer the entire time, and the symbiote is responsible for that to make it look like, you know, he's possibly, you know, being made to be dependent upon the symbiote for those reasons and changing his memories. Like, it's implied he didn't have an uncle. He didn't have all of these people in his life that died from cancer. It's like the, the symbiote's been lying to him. And then here we see the symbiote talking to him. So I don't know if the symbiote has its personality back or not. We'll find out in the next issue, I'm imagining. So, yeah, there's a lot of weird questions. Of course, the maker is back. He's trying to help him. I like the maker. Definitely one of the coolest villains that have come out of uh, the Ultimate Universe, I think. I always thought that was a cool idea as a, of a demented, twisted Reed Richards there's a man, even the Fantastic Four, Ultimate Fantastic Four by, uh, I think that was by Hickman. Man, that was a good run. There was some really, at the start of the Ultimate Universe, there was some really good stuff coming out of that. I don't know. Really, I think that's what they should just keep doing is rebooting, reboot, like literally do 100 issues of a run and then reboot, do something different. I think that would be a really cool idea is just keep retelling stories with the characters in new ways but you know what do i know i know a lot of people will be against that you could have a prime universe still of like you know 15 20 bucks and then just do the other thing but you know what do i know i'm just trying to make things exciting again but anyway see it looks like he has his personality back and we go here the big reveal is that it looks like that this kid is really Eddie Brock's son. And he kind of clarifies that. He's like, you know, he's not my brother. He's my son. So, like, the symbiote was making him forget about him. So it looks like we might get a retcon. And I'm not sure if that means this is Eddie Brock's dad or not. So there's a lot going on here to, like, it's a, it's interesting to find out what happens. And this is, I hope that's the cover to the next issue. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, a lot of big mystery coming uh, this book is still pretty solid. Like if you only bought like four books a month, this is one to pick up for sure. I'd say this, Daredevil's looking really good. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And as far as like what I could honestly strongly recommend through Marvel, that would be it. Venom, Amazing Spider-Man, Daredevil. I can't think of, you know, there's not really much else I can say that I like hyped to read. Hopefully X Men gets better. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, this is a really dry time for comics right now. Not really much going on. Anyway, like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this book if you read it. 
What are your thoughts on uh, Eddie Brock having a son? Do you think that's a retcon or a trick? Anyway, see ya.